And unfortunately, I want Yawalon Gia Edu. Some of the people are abandoned. In the story, I also mentioned that they were not about it for one day. So some of us experience and all that, but some privilege we have, some things happen to the glory of God. And we just think at this very point, we can pay back. We can have little things that we can give back to some of these brothers and the child. So, it's my pleasure and honor without wasting much time. Because tonight, I'm a Mashi Award, I'm a unveiling of an NGO, I'm a air talk, we dance, we eat, we drink. It's my pleasure and honor without wasting much time to call on our able and very friendly, fortunately in the front of the house, very lovable, Ije Buma, <laughs> Dr. Abayomi O. <laughs> Please, just go please. Um, the medical director, Mother Side Hospital, located in Thursday here. I mean, second year here. Um, my, my talk here is going to be very brief. As I just decided to give this talk in support of my friend, who is interested in people who are physically or intellectually challenged in, the, in our society. We see them everywhere. That is them now. Or perhaps we don't know the pathogenesis, as in why one led to it. So I'm going to be very brief about it. So what is the Down syndrome? We call them Mongo because of the way they look. But we also call them Trisomy. 21 because of the pathogenesis that's the medical circle so i'm going to take you to our secondary school biology it's very very simple because this is a genetic disorder and whatever we call genetic disorder that means it is passed from parents to the child right so i'm going to be very 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 down to the end about it. so in our secondary school they told us about the single unit of life itself, right? And for us to grow, for us to develop, this cell must divide. They must undergo differentiation so that they can specialize into different cells so that we can grow, so that others can die, so that others can develop again. So they have to undergo divisions from time to time. Right? Now, it is in this division, in the secondary school, they also told us about the structure of plant cells and animal cells, right? Now, in the plant cell, we have the cytoplasm where you have the organelles. And we also have a small portion of it in the central part of it, which is the nucleus, the, nu the nucleus, which contains the genetic material. And that is our area of focus this, this evening. Now, this genetic material is made up of chromosomes, which are neatly arranged by God. Okay? These chromosomes are information encoding materials that pass information from the parents down to the children. So they have, God has made it in such a way that it must be arranged in such a way that 23 here, you know they told us the chromosomes are in pair. The 23 pairs of chromosomes will have to be neatly arranged. Now, there are two types of these chromosomes, right? We have the sets, sex chromosomes, which is the S and Y, right? That determine whether you are a man or you are a woman. And we also have the autosomes, which are 22 pairs that are neatly arranged beside each other. And every cell in the body has this core number of chromosomes, which is 23, okay? Now, the problem arises when the autosome, which is the 22 pairs, one of them, because of the division, there's an abnormal division. So during when a man and a woman meets, 
I say, man, I'm going to do this 20, 22 of my own plus either X or Y because I'm going to give to my child. My wife too will donate 22 and give either X or Y. I mean, either X because they have XX. I mean, now, sometimes, this is the normal pattern, but sometimes, when during this cell division, there's abnormality in that, in that number 22, 23, I mean, 21. They refuse to divide. So instead of having, instead of now having 22 plus either S, S and Y, which is 23 normal in the child, you don't have on the 20, 21, you don't have X, you don't have extra chromosomes. So you don't have SSS. So because of that, they have some features because they won't grow normally the way a child should grow because of this abnormality. Are you getting it now? So, how do they look like? Because of this, because of this abnormality, how do they look like? We are, we are told that everywhere now, you, you guys see them everywhere. You know, most of them cannot speak well. Some of them cannot comprehend simple tasks. They can't use, they can't tolerate by themselves. They cannot, they can't, uh, you can't comprehend them when they talk. Maybe they have speech problems. They have problems with learning. They have disability, maybe some of them cannot walk properly. Some of them, you know, they look kind of, they have uh, absence of nasal bridge. And they have, uh, sometimes their hair, you know, is below the, the eyebrow. Normally, your hair is supposed to be at the level of the eyebrow. Their own is lower. So you can see the ceiling and the there when you see them outside. They, this is a Down syndrome. So by the time you now talk to them, you will see them, that they are intellectually very low. You and I can complain and say, oh, I don't want this. They cannot do that. So you can have challenge, a lot of challenges raising them. Some of them, they exhibit some autistic behaviors, some impulsive behaviors. That is things that ordinarily someone cannot do. They can just do. He can just come to you and slap you without any reason. So they can be very stubborn. They can make unnecessary, unnecessary noise. They can weep on their body. They can poop on their body. Because they cannot take, you know, cognitive dis decision on their own. What are, who are the people who are likely to have this? People generally, when you have a child, and that child is getting older, it is better to have your children earlier. It is better to have your children earlier. The older you become, the likely that you are going to have a congenitally malformed child. So, anybody that wants to have a child, it is better to have a child at a younger age. You know, perhaps before 35. Women, generally. Women. You know, race has also been. Age, at the below 35, is better. The more you are getting towards above 35, the likely, not only. Down syndrome, you can have other things. The other, you can have other things that you can have, other congenital malformation that comes with advanced age. The other. So, race and, you know, it's commoner in the white people. Maybe because of their social economic uh, uh, level, you know, we eat more fruit and things like that. We are more down to earth. So, we are likely to have, so generally, infection and things like that. You are likely to go, you know, to be exposed to all, the, all the, this kind of congenital malformations. Um, generally, that's all about it. There's nothing more to talk about. But manage, their management is centered towards speech therapy. You want to make sure that you get a special education for them. You want to make sure that you give them someone that can teach them how to speak and how to comprehend communications. You understand? So usually even in abroad, one person, I, I remember I have a friend that has an autistic child and is collecting 4,500 naira on that time every month. But he goes about dollar. Yes, he goes about that child everywhere he goes. He said he doesn't want anything. Oh no, go the Only go for God or no back when they go to the country, they are coming to the country. They are four thousand five hundred dollars every month. That is the life. Yes. Yes, you see, unfortunately, in our society, we don't pay attention to all these things, and they are very, very important. And it is not the fault of their own.
<coughs> you are it is done before. It is something that was passed over to them without them knowing anything about it. So the government and everyone on side should be, should be concerned about how they go about it so that we can help these people who are physically and intellectually challenged. Thank you very much. the stigmatization, the absence of love and understanding from parents, and the confusion. Yes, we are confused about the word disability. Come on, for a And the way we are lying, we are going to be in the same way. We are going to be in the same way. We are going to be that is intellectual disability and physical disability. But let's not talk about what all those things mean. Let's talk about reality. What does it take to be a child? Not to talk of raising a child with disability. It's a big work. And I connote all mothers and fathers that stand with their, their wives to face this problem. Because it's not a problem for one person. I'm here today standing before you because of the law I got from both of my parents. Imagine if it was born. Do you think I'll be here? So let's talk. What does it mean to have a child with disability? Because anybody to be on more, don't need to be Nijara. Go see. That's not that long. Because anybody. But a lot of a lot of things. But they already feel there. They lose. And like the very way they will not give you what you cannot handle. Only they are weak. That you run away from it. A lot of children are out there with talents. But they are cute because their friends are not there to no choice. That's just the truth. And about the public school, I went to all my secondary school and the public school. My parents could not afford school fees. In fact, after my secondary school, I did not go for good to a university. Not to talk of studying biomedical engineering. In Tigan General, we built a university, a private university. For that matter. So, I have to tell you. Sir, sir, excuse me, sir. I saw a new problem with the old guy, the guy, and the father to teach your child, irrespective of the disability. It's the way to come out. It's the way to come out. That is the level of me. Yes. I'm out of wood. 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 I'm out
may not be able to, may, may, not, may not be that lucky. And like I said to you, the, my own focus will be cerebral palsy because um, some of us are challenged, yeah. but we are privileged yeah. to have international networking. Yeah. I won't say much about that. And so many persons are suffering. And part of what this guy said, when I called him this morning, he said, Ah, Presi, please call my mom. He just said, He said, Call my mom. I don't care, let me call your mom. I talked to his mom, I said, Oh, I have to talk to the dad. So they can give us permission from the school to allow him from the university. And that was the end. He just told me, okay, I'll be on my way very soon. And that was all. He got here. I said, call Moses, your PA, let him follow you. So the brain aware that he's here with me. And all these are happening while we belong to the same association of Lions Club International. That is part of those things. That's just it. So in view of all this, I want to stand on the existing protocol. So take this advantage and call my daddy, my daddy, a unifier, a unifier and a pillar. With all respect, by Mr. Logan, please, Edmund Patola, please come. I think it is proper for us to use this opportunity to assist those who need our support, particularly the children who are physically challenged and will be using I urge us to, to use this platform as the foundation for our contribution to reach out to those out there who genuinely need our support on this note I personally want to, I'm not going to mention the amount, but I'm, I will handsomely launch this with complete the rest. I will, I will reach out to Seligi. <laughs> The award going out to Mr. Yodeki Kusoya, CEO and Yodeki Logistics and Rental Services, who happens to be my blood brother. Bobo, what if Oban Shilo the radio, the light, Oban the event, one with the power the radio, Omolua. I call me community builder. A special celebration and recognition of your giant strides and support to see life differently. Data this day, 30th October 2024. This award is coming from my lovely brother, daddy, father, honorable. BA, Timbe, Omasi, Seleke, Business Promoter, Kuludu, Juni Lanyon Club, Outstanding Community Builder, in recognition of the humanitarian great strike. Dr. Shala, please come and say a little about my daddy. Do that for me, please. Thank you very much, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've just been on the rack to say one or two things about my club president. Lion, Prince, Baba Tunde, Ake Wale, Afolati, is a man of many parts. He is a man that distinguishes himself from whatever he does. He's a man that gives without looking back. He is an humanitarian. And that is why he is my president today. The president of one of the foremost Lions Club within Ikorodu, and that is Ikorodu Unique Lions Club. We say, Abonio, Abonijo. Thank you so much.
Tendoni Kone. I could get him more. Get a very support. Humanitarian, great, a lot of work from Thank you very much. It is very, very untradition of me to announce whatever I'm going to do. But I promise I will say it. That I will do it handsomely and beautifully. Thank him and his organization for this wonderful event. Thank you very much. Afonio. Afonio. Thank you so much. Well, uh, it's, it's a little bit too, um, elated. Uh, Sammy Kid, the organizer, has been a very wonderful younger friend, um, a, a trade brother, an organizer, and a joint manager. In fact, everything about him is awesome. So I am elated that I am being recognized. How did you feel when you were given a call that you wanted to be our son? Shock. I didn't expect it. I begin to ask myself why. But I appreciate it. Your message to the Well, this should continue. It should not stop where it is now. I want others too to be recognized. It is not baby. This is a good business promoter and it's going to enhance the impactfulness of this business the more. Thank you. Thank you so much. How excited are you being one of the awarded? Oh, the nice one. Very excited. I never even believe me. I never even knew. The information got to me. I was away. The pleasure to join the good ones. That's why I'm here. Talk about the awards. How did you feel when you got a call that you're going to I told you, I was amazed. I never knew the person was going to be. I had them. So today, today, today. So your message to me, your Oh, I wish them more, more, more God's guidance. I'm not busy to the end. Thank you. Thank you. 
Are you looking for some uh, whenever I event? Oh, yes. Yeah. Where is my darling? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, 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 I mean,